Hey everybody, this is Jed Porter, lead guide for Sierra Mountain Guides in Bishop, California. I'm here to show you my personal ice climbing kit for a single day of ice climbing in somewhere like Levine Canyon, California. Uh, first, I'm going to start with what I would be wearing for the day, the, what I'd leave the trailhead with. Uh, my favorite article is the, is the one-piece suit. Everybody loves it but it disappears under my clothes, you can't even tell it's there. It's soft shell pants with a light fleece vest sewn right on. This happens to be made by Wild Things. There aren't many companies making them out there, but, uh, but if you can get a hold of one that works, you're psyched. Um, I also wear a t-shirt. I always start with a synthetic t-shirt on my upper body. And then uh, I have an Outdoor Research Rumor hoodie, uh, which you can purchase yourself at Sage the Summit down in Bishop, California. They sell these. It's a lightweight fleece, smooth on the outside so snow doesn't stick to it, hooded, thumb loops so you stay sealed up with your gloves, etc. Over the top of that, an outdoor research uh, soft shell jacket. This is last year's model. I'm not even sure what they call it. Uh, I have what I call my approach hat and gloves. A lot of times the approach is sweaty or snowy, I get wet. Um, and these things I just wear on the approach and exit, and they, and they go in the pack once I'm there. They get a little damp or downright wet. They, they disappear. I'll show you what I carry for actually climbing. Uh, I have a pair of glasses, light lenses. Lee Mining Canyon never gets sun. So you want light lenses to protect you from the ice chips flying off your tools. These are native brand, they can interchange the lenses, dark or light. On my feet I wear La Sportiva Trango Extreme boots. They're single leather, lightweight, uh, specific mountaineering ice climbing boots. Uh, boots are a topic of much contention or discussion. You want to get a good fitting boot that is truly insulated. That lots, lots of mountaineering boots now on the market are not actually insulated. And a good way to lose toes, so make sure you're getting the right boots. And I use, over top of my boots, I use tiny little gaiters uh, to keep the snow out, keep my laces from freezing up, etc. I like the small ones versus the big ones, that's just my preference. On, on some days we'll need snowshoes, MSR snowshoes are nice, and trekking poles, what have you. So now, in my pack, let's start with the lid here. Uh, I mentioned the gloves, and I carry a lot of gloves. My favorites are the Outdoor Research Storm Tracker. They fit real close, super light, they're the soft shell glove from Outdoor Research. They have this goopy zipper at the back that doesn't really make a difference, but otherwise, uh, leather palm, soft shell back, really breathable, warm enough. Uh, for me, I have two pairs of them this year and last year's. And then a beefier pair of gloves. I think they're the OR Alibi or something like that. No, not the Alibi. Something else starts with A. In any case, uh, heavier duty for top roping and belaying. Less dexterous is the issue there. Um, also have a little first aid kit, band-aids, ibuprofen, etc. Another hat, this is my actual climbing hat. Thin, fits under my hood and under my helmet uh, very cleanly and comfortably. Doesn't need to be much when I include the hoods. Uh, I can keep my head pretty warm with just a lightweight hat. Uh, what else, what's logical next? Headlamp, I wanna get stuck out after dark without one of these. Um, this is a, a tether rig for my ice tools and I'll show you my ice tools shortly. But it swivels, I can clip into each one independently. I like to climb leashless, but don't like to drop tools, so this helps me with that, especially on lead, I use it mostly. Um, and then a little bit of a repair kit between a file, a spare pick, some bailing wire, and a tiny little Leatherman tool, you should be able to fix anything on a day trip uh, to make it functional, save your day. A little bit of repair equipment goes a long ways. Moving into the main body of the pack, the way I have it set up today anyway. I use an Arcteryx Casri 55, carries all the gear I need, guiding gear and personal gear together. 
uh, smaller pack would suffice when you're part of a large group. They don't happen to make this pack anymore, which kind of bummed about. Uh, helmet, harness, belay device. Super important with the helmet thing. Get one that fits, it's comfy. You put it on when you approach a cliff and take it off when you leave at the end of the day. You don't want to have an uncomfortable helmet. The belay jacket, also made by Outdoor Research. Uh, down, filled, I have a synthetic one also for wetter days. Um, stormy days I wear synthetic. But your average day at Levine and Canyon, the belays stay pretty dry. So a down jacket is nice, comfy, warm, compressible. Uh, a shell jacket for, for actual climbing over the top of my soft shell if needed. Uh, this is just a windbreaker, real small. Also made by Outdoor Research. I'm not sure the model name didn't do my homework very well on this stuff, but, uh, but super tiny, super light, very weather resistant actually, and uh, so much so that it's not that breathable, um, but it gives me lots of freedom of motion, etc. cetera. Uh, one more bag full of extra mittens and hats and I think it's just mittens and hats in here. I don't even look at it all that often. And uh, it's just the extra backup stuff. It kind of sacred. It lives in my ice climbing pack, my ski touring pack. Uh, I don't think about it much until I need it, and I'm psyched. So the ice tools. Um, I own these Black Diamond Cobras. I've also been using the Black Diamond reactors. And in many ways, I like the reactors better. But these Cobras are super light, like the most high-tech tools you can buy right now. Uh, confidence inspiring. The leafless thing is unreal. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. A little discussion on crampons. Crampons come in two major flavors in my book. Uh, ice climbing specific, which have vertical front points, one or two. Fairly lightweight, um, kind of more aggressive, uh, and I use a pair of Petzl darts for that. They're kind of Franken crampons now. They're all mismatched parts, but I love them. They're great for pure ice climbing, uh, and I get out enough that I have multiple pairs of crampons. If I were to only own one pair of crampons for mountaineering and ice climbing both, I might own something like the Sabertooth, Stab uh, Black Diamond Stainless Steel Sabertooths this year are are amazing. Uh, the nice thing about this particular version is it has a strap arrangement in the toe and a clip in the heel for your hybrid summer mountaineering boots. And this happens to be the only crampons that we've found that work well with those summer uh, mountaineering boots and winter ice boots. Uh, so if you're looking for one pair of crampons that does it all, these saber toots, you can't go wrong. There are crampons on the market now that have a, a strap for the toe, but your front points don't protrude enough. It's kind of your public service announcement for the day. Beware. Try out your crampons uh, beforehand and, and shop carefully uh, if you're looking for a hybrid style binding on your crampon. Uh, the last thing in here. I'd have water and food, obviously, for the day, and a, and a thermos with something warm in it. Can't go wrong with hot, hot drinks on a cold day. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to let us, let us know if you have anything to add or questions about what we carry. And when you're out there, be safe. Check your avalanche report at esavalanche.org. Lee Binding Canyon and June Lake Ice are both exposed to avalanche conditions, as well as all the hazards that come along with ice climbing. So be ultra careful. Thanks for watching.